Okay. Push in. Rotate 90. Pull. The loud booms heard recently in Subdistrict 8 of Kandahar City were sounds of progress. In a joint effort, Bonesaw Company of 167 Armor, the 530th Engineer Company, and Afghan Uniformed Police from Police Substation 8 all conducted a clearance operation in the orchards of the city's western edge. The farmers are the ones who own this land and the insurgents are the ones making it dangerous. So what we're trying to do is make it safe for the population so that they can farm their land, harvest their crops, and make a living. The engineers used anti-personnel obstacle breaching systems to clear footpaths in order to traverse the area as well as possibly detonate any secondary explosives. Local residents were on board with the operation. The, the mission actually started a couple days ago with uh, engagement of the local people. Uh, they also wanted this area cleared out so that they can come in in the spring and uh, start doing their farming and not worry about explosives out here in the fields. 4-2 is going to track visual of friendlies in the creek bed. If you can scan out 50 meters, it's an overwatch. This particular area in the western part of the city was a place of power for the Taliban just a short time ago. Six months ago that we are, the Taliban was working over here a lot and they were, they were very powerful in this location. Like I, I find a lot of IDs in this location. Much of the success in this area can be attributed to the work of the AUP and the support they have garnered from local residents. Yeah, Basabad is the name of the town. A lot of the locals love how they're consistent in their patrolling. They, they like the security that they get over there. Sustaining security gains made during the mission will be extremely important. Since this area will be cleared, uh, we'll be able to hold this area now. So our patrols with the AUP will be able to go through this area more frequently and I'll prevent the insurgents from using this canal zone to uh, walk back and forth and transport explosive materials into Kandahar City. The operation yielded four mortars, eight rocket-propelled grenades, and an anti-personnel mine. From 2nd Brigade Combat Team, 4th Infantry Division in Kandahar, Afghanistan, I'm Army Sergeant Seth Barham.